I got rosemary and thyme, and I'm wanting much more of both. I've been wanting a distiller for a couple years now to produce essential oils, and I'm going to need lots of herbs, even for a small quantity. I cut branches off plants with green vegetative growth about 8 inches long, then removed the bottom, lower leaves leaving a few sets at the top. Next, I gave the base of the cutting a 45 degree angle slanted cut. Since the plants won't have roots over the next several weeks, removing the leaves will decrease the amount of water loss and the slanted cut gives the plant more surface area for new roots to develop and for more water to be absorbed into the stem. I'm propagating my plants into a jar of water and I like to cover the top of the jar with plastic wrap to decrease water evaporation and to support the cuttings. After the several weeks, I got root development and I waited till the roots were at least this long to transplant. The rosemary grew roots a lot quicker than time, but we all know when gardening, patience is the key that opens doors. About two weeks after the rosemary cutting started doing their thing, the thyme cutting started doing theirs. Aside from making essential oils, both these herbs can be used to flavor foods and to drink in herbal tea. I filled my planters with composted soil. I chose planters that will fit on the window ledge and carefully completed the transplant. After I watered all the propagated plants thoroughly, I placed them into the window facing south, which are the windows that receive the most sunlight. And I'll repeat this process a few more times before spring. 